U.S. Lockheed D-21 supersonic spying drone. Fifty years ago, on March 5, 1966, unmanned aircraft made supersonic history when a Lockheed D-21 drone launched off of the back of a Blackbird traveling Mach 3. The U.S. always wanted speeds to surveillance drones, and the Lockheed D-21 codenamed Project Tagboard. Unfortunately depending on 1's perspective what it had in power thanks to its ramjet engines, but it lacked in computing codes. But Mach 3 is incredibly fast, even by today's drone standards but such speed meant every mission with a D-21. First flight of D-21 prototype was on December 22, 1964. The unit was originally designated as Q-12 with USAF hopes of also turning it into a useful cruise missile. Speeds were in the range of Mach 3.3 to Mach 3.5 and operating altitudes could reach up to 95,000 feet with a range out to 3,500 miles. To contend with the high speeds in play, the D-21 relied on skillful use of titanium at key sections. The attention paid to radar absorbent materials and stealth design would keep the drone from being detected on enemy tracking system. The D-21 drone would follow a pre-programmed flight path over areas of interest. Then the drone would return to international airspace, where the reconnaissance film package, equipped with its own parachute, was ejected. The package was then recovered in mid-air by a specially equipped airplane or at sea by a ship. Though the D-21's job could be distilled to such simple steps, the actual cleaving of daughter drone from mother ship was a complex ballet of aerial separation. It was not without disaster. In July 1966, the separation of the D-21 from the mother Blackbird went horribly awry. The drone hit the Blackbird's shockwave and tumbled, exploding into the airplane. The pilot managed to safely escape the wreck, but the launch officer, Ray Torek, drowned when he fell into the Pacific. This marked the final test launch of the D-21 from the Blackbird platform so an alternative plan was drawn up to have the D-21 unit air launched from under the wing of a specially modified Boeing B-52 Stratofortress heavy bomber. Initial speed would be gained from the B-52 itself as well as through use of a rocket booster fitted to the drone. A pair of B-52H bombers were modified to a mothership standard. Changes produced the D-21B designation and a first launch was recorded on September 28, 1967. However this test proved a failure as the D-21B detached from its pylon mid-flight before an actual launch could be enacted. Testing continued into early 1968 but progress was slow and shown the whole arrangement to be lacking in consistent reliability. A successful launch was finally had on June 16 of that year but more failures continued to dog the program. The D-21 program came to an end in July of 1971 when it was finally realized that the arrangement was not a viable spying solution. 38 total D-21 drones of both marks were made and 21 of this stock was used, either successfully or not. The remainder ended in storage for a time before being sent to the scrap heap or to museums around the United States to be preserved as showpieces. Its intended high-flying, high-speed spy role was eventually overtaken by more advanced, space-based satellites placed in orbit by the American space program while the SR-71 and U-2 planes continued to provide decades of more reliable, faithful service thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe